because we have a neuromuscular clinic, which we have at, for adults and also at Cardinal Glen for pediatric groups. So we see muscular dystrophies, uh, congenital myopathies, inflammatory myopathies. We see those patients too. And, um, you know, so we have taken part in the past in studies for primarily Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Most of the disorders, dystrophies and ALS or these, some of them are orphan disorders. Okay, you know, we have uh, the disorders, but the numbers are not there, which is a challenge for uh, pharmaceutical company and other to, for research and, you know, having some medications uh, and research studies done. Um, the challenges or heartbreaking is you see the patient, you make the diagnosis, and then you have to tell them we have some symptomatic therapy, but we don't have any cure for you. And um, over time, you work with them, and then if it's autosomal dominant, uh, there may be a family history or you diagnose other children. You know, I have a family with myotonic dystrophy. Um, mother came to me, and then it's the third child I'm seeing now. Like, so it's like one after another you start seeing a family. And then you feel kind of handicapped that you're diagnosing them, you're holding their hands, you're giving them a maximum you know, help, but there's no cure. You, you, there's no light at the end of the tunnel for them. That's, that's, that's the most challenging thing are there. And um, compared to when I was doing my residency training, I mean, at that time, we didn't even know the gene for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, you know, and now we know about so many other uh, genetic disorders. So now next is we're hoping that once we have looked into this, we go to next level and then we can do gene therapy and hopefully treat and maybe cure some, some or maybe most of the disorders. Another thing I would say that most of the time when we talk about muscular dystrophies or this condition, we think it's just affecting one system, like for, for a, for example, facial scapular humeral dystrophy or Duchenne muscular dystrophy, many other systems are affected. So it's not from a person, other people, but we have to let them know that it's not that they're just weak. They might have hearing loss, they may have heart problem, they may have back problems, so they, their whole life is affected. It's just like a multi-system involvement. So treatment and finding a cure for this is imperative because you know it's just not like okay you cannot walk but you have other everything else is working so these are mostly these are multi-system involvement because we are from the clinical side and then you know research has told us okay this kind of gene or this kind of a pathway might be affected and they can produce they can work on it they can produce some chemicals medicines which can help the patient and go from there and then we can partner again doing uh, studies and see, you know, and then go phase one, phase two, and see if we can help the patients. And as I say, um, help the patient, uh, help their symptoms, improve the condition, and maybe ultimately cure the disorder.